Hey guys, Alan here from Generation Tech. So the Rogue One trailer is finally out and it looks amazing. And this is the real one guys, it's official. And it's not just some short teaser trailer, it's a full one minute and 40 seconds. It showcases most of the main actors and actresses in the movie and shows us some awesome battle scenes. Let's take a look. State your name for the record. Jin Erso. Forgery of Imperial documents. Possession of stolen property, aggravated assault, resisting arrest. On your own from the age of 15, reckless, aggressive, and undisciplined. This is a rebellion, isn't it? I rebel. We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. We need to know what it is and how to destroy it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? You continue to fight. What will you become? To start off, it is confirmed that Felicity Jones will be starring as the stunning Jin Erso, a roguish street criminal tasked by Mon Motha and the Rebel Alliance to find out what the Empire is secretly building. Spoiler alert, it's the Death Star. What's really interesting to me is Jin Erso in the beginning of the trailer is in handcuffs, perhaps after leading a failed attempt to steal some supplies from the Rebellion. Anyway, this should make way for a cliche, but nonetheless, interesting character arc, where the selfish thief realizes that there's more to life than just looking out for her own interests as she gradually becomes invested for the first time in her life in a cause greater than herself. Reminds me of Han Solo, doesn't it? Anyway, I really love the interaction between Jin and Mon Motha in the trailer, who is being portrayed by Genevieve O'Reilly, who looks spot on for the role. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. It also looks like the Rebels already have operations running at their Yavin 4 secret base in the Great Temple of Masasi, which appeared in Episode 4, A New Hope, where the first Death Star gets blown up. Another location that is prevalent in the movie is this new unknown tropical desert world, which also is the reason why we have these new desert camouflage stormtroopers, which I really want to call sand troopers. So let's make that a thing, Internet. Ben Mendelsohn appears as a major villain. At first I thought he was Moff Tarkin, the commander of the Death Star and supervisor of its construction. Now I've been reading the Star Wars Tarkin novel, which is fantastic by the way. Uh, this novel really goes into detail about the character's personality and what Moff Tarkin did during the construction of the Death Star. Now, the character played by Mendelssohn looks nothing like what I imagined Tarkin would be like. Uh, he definitely wouldn't be wearing that white cloak and the have a giant silver blaster. Just doesn't fit his personality. I think Mendelssohn is actually going to play an entirely new villain, one that we haven't uh, seen yet. And um, again, I really love his outfit with the white cape and silver blaster pistol. This guy kind of reminds me of like an evil version of Patton, a military genius full of ego and, you know, he has this kind of flair to him. Also, an interesting editing choice shows Mendelssohn walking through shallow water littered with stormtrooper corpses right before a similar shot of a hooded figure walking through a dark chamber guarded by two of the Emperor's royal guards. I'm thinking that this hooded figure might be one of the Emperor's feared Sith assassins or inquisitors. We also see some shots of Forrest Whitaker who looks like some kind of hermit in this movie. He'll probably be a local contact on the desert world for this rebel band going to find the plans for the Death Star. Now he's obviously seen some crazy stuff and perhaps he was even a veteran of the Clone Wars. During the trailer, he warns Rey of the horrors of fighting against the Empire and questions if she has what it takes to carry on the fight. Also shown is Donnie Yen being his badass blind monk self, beating down fully armed stormtroopers with a wooden staff. Hopefully that's not the scene where he dies because the odds actually kind of look 
bit stacked against him. So most likely Donnie won't be that awesome blind force wielding warrior we all wanted to see, but just a normal blind warrior, which is I guess kind of cool still. Another Chinese actor making his debut in the Star Wars franchise is Zhang Wen. He's known in China for his action comedy movies and it looks like in Rogue One he'll be playing some sort of heavy weapons expert slash samurai warrior. And Alan Taduk is one of the actors not seen in the trailer, but rumors are that he will be playing a droid, probably this Imperial Enforcer droid seen in this scene here. And the trailer ends with Jin wearing an Imperial pilot's uniform, which looks great on her. Uh, I can't explain to you guys how excited I am for this movie, more excited than the Force Awakens movie. And I explained in this video why I'm so excited. Uh, so, guys, let me know what you think about this trailer in the comments below, and please don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech. For trade, I understand the Star Wars series is science fiction and not a war drama, but sometimes the way battles are fought are just silly. The weapons and technology in the Star Wars universe are so advanced, yet it seems like the tactics used on the battlefield come from the Bronze Age. I understand droids are cheap and easy to make and have no souls, but marching them out in formation like you're playing Total War seems just a little stupid. 